Today, the demons asked from Christ to allow them to go into the herd of swine, and all the people of the city begged him to leave their neighborhood, and Christ obeyed. God obeys demons. Amazing. He fulfills their desire and allows them to go into the herd of swine. I wonder if Christ obeyed that type of desire of the demons, wouldn't he obey them if they would ask to become angels again? We should not forget that demons initially used to be angels, but they become so proud that they wanted to become gods instead. So from angels, they ended up demons. If God listened to that request, imagine how much more would he listen and forgive them if they were humble enough and they repented and asked for his great mercy. It is also amazing God's obedience to the people of Gersens. God fulfills their request as well and leaves the neighborhood. According to the Mosaic law, these people were not allowed to eat pork, yet they were breeding pigs. They were only focusing on their financial interests, and they were left unmoved from the healing of the two fellow people, and they begged Jesus to depart from them. Imagine how much more Jesus would obey the Gersensians if they would ask him for something more spiritual, if they asked for the salvation or for the healing of other patients or paralytics of their city, and invite him instead of sending him away. God obeys. Most of the time, God obeys us rather than we obey him. Christ respects our freedom and free will, and never interferes. After all, this freedom is his biggest gift to all of us. These people ask from Christ to leave them alone, and he left without saying a word. He didn't try to explain to them that he did a good deed to their fellow people. That was more than obvious. They preferred to have the pigs in their lives instead. So he loved them and left them. This can happen to anyone who doesn't have the right priorities in life. If our basic concern is only our physical survival and not the spiritual one, it is inevitable to worship pigs or anything else that steals from our hearts the love for God and our fellow people. Lord Jesus Christ knew in advance that he would be rejected from the whole city. However, he obeyed to his love for his creation and went there to set those two people free from the demons. Our living God will always find ways to come and visit us, even under the most difficult conditions. God is the only one who truly loves us unconditionally, regardless of if we forget him or, you, or if we hurt him with our sins or turn our backs to him. He's always ready to listen to our requests and obey. Today's Gospel reading is a proof that God's presence in our life is determined only by us, no one else, not even God himself. If we ask him to depart from our lives, we will stay with the companionship of pigs. But if we ask him to be present in our hearts, he will come and stay with us from now to the ages of ages. Amen.